Hello, you wonderful people. And welcome to another episode of Bring It Back. This being a show where we talk about TV shows that were canceled and or short-lived that we'd like to see get brought back in some shape or form. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the CW original series, The Republic of Sarah. Now, really quickly, if you're unfamiliar with what uh, The Republic of Sarah is, it is this uh, interesting drama where basically a company is coming into a small town of Greylock and is trying to mine up this specific, like, mineral or, you know, material known as Coltan, which goes into, like, a lot of like technologies and cell phones and stuff like that uh but this would be them paying off a lot of people in a town and would cause them to like dig up a lot of people's houses and basically kind of basically flatten the town in, in in certain regards but the story revolves around a um a teacher named sarah kind of leading the charge of trying to stop this large company from coming in and destroying their town and this community and um she actually leads a charge in the uh, town of Greylock, uh, basically because of a loophole technicality that Greylock technically isn't a part of the U.S. So uh, it's a, a journey of Greylock becoming its own country. And um, it ends up being this really fascinating story, just kind of like this little mini, you know, revolution, kind of like, you know, story for the history books type of situation of just like this modern day town trying to become its own country just so they can preserve you know a lot of their community their homes and stuff like that and I think it's such an interesting story too because it comes with such complications because obviously running your own country is not an easy thing and there's a lot of upheaval to it especially because it's like none of them are like trained leaders Sarah isn't she's using a lot of what she knows from history she is very smart in her own right but she has a lot of capable people around her that kind of help point her in the right direction on potentially how to handle things so it comes with its own struggles, its own sacrifices and complications. Um, uh, like I was saying earlier, though, sadly, the show was canceled after only one season, uh, which is such a bummer because there's you did tell there's just so much more story to tell. Because this story, this series did such a good job of, like, not only just focusing on just, like, the, the story of just, like, right, like, the struggles and, like, the hurdles you have to go through just making your own country and them just trying to... Uh, you know, them kind of getting the raw end of the deals when it comes to like how the U.S. responds to it as well as how Canada kind of treats them in certain regards. So it's like that on top of like the personal stories, like a lot of the things that Sarah's dealing with both as a leader, but also as a friend, as a, a sister, as a daughter, like her family situation is super complicated considering like her brother Danny works for the company and is trying to like dig up the coal tan in the town. So like th that turns it that's all they've got a whole back history as well like complicated you know history but there's also the interconnected stories of this community that the people in it all you know striving to do good for Greylock in their own way some characters you don't agree with the way they're approaching certain things in other regards but everyone trying to do their best you know and I, I think that just made this story have like so much like heart and like I said it's like a very like community story of like we're in this together type of thing and that's kind of supposed to be like a message from the beginning so i thought it was kind of a very like interesting very heartfelt story in that regard and i'm just sad that it only uh got one season because like i said there's so much story to tell like you can tell they only cracked the surface on just like you know we only really got the ball rolling you know in to a certain degree uh with the whole making Greylock its own country but it's like what would the future hold for them what other complications would come up uh because without spoiling it for anyone that decides they want to go back and watch it the fact of the matter is the season finale puts it uh, Greylock in a good positive trajectory but obviously there are a lot of complications in Sarah's life when it comes to her uh, personal relationships and stuff like that so where they would have gone going for where the story of Greylock would be going going for because if I wanted to sh if this show should come back for not just like one more season I feel like this show should come back for at least a total of five seasons or something like that four or five because I feel this series definitely deserves to have a full life but I feel like you know whatever amount is like seasons it takes to tell like the full complete story that maybe they hadn't quite mapped out yet or just tell the story that they want to tell whether it's three seasons whether it's four seasons whether it's five seasons I feel like it could definitely be like a five season show especially if you continue with like the 13 episodes that like the first season was so I don't know um I hope that, you know, someone takes interest in this show and picks it up because I think it's a really worthwhile show. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you check it out. I don't know if it is something that's going to end up on Netflix. Usually a lot of CW stuff does, so I will be checking in the future. I don't know if all the episodes are still on the CW app right now, but if you are able to, I highly recommend you watch it. Maybe it's not for everyone. I know it isn't. Like, not a lot of people click the show, but I really enjoyed it. So it's just a show that I would like to see get a second chance and be able to... Uh, 
continue forward. Not like I said, not just one more season, but like a couple seasons. Like, like I said, if you can squeeze it in three, fine. But I think four or five would be uh, preferable because I think that'd be the full like the link needed to tell the full scale of this story and just like you know I, I want there to be kind of a proper ending to a lot of uh, where we left off a lot of these stories, you know. So. But really, that's all I want to talk about. Till the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, light to the force, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.